Patella femoral pain syndrome. Patella femoral pain syndrome, PFPS, is a syndrome categorized by the pain or discomfort seemingly originating from the contact of the posterior surface of the patella, back of the kneecap, with the femur thigh bone. The causes of PFPS are unclear, but there are several theories. Which tissues give rise to the pain is debated. Similarly, there is no consensus as to what is the best way of treating PFPS, and there is not enough support evidence, not enough evidence to support any particular management approach. There is no universally accepted definition. Anterior knee pain involving the patella and retina coulomb that excludes other intra-articular and peripatellar pathology. Runner's knee is one of the handful of conditions sometimes referred to as runner's knee, PFPS, patellofemoral pain syndrome versus chondromalacia patellae. Chondromalacia patellae is a term sometimes treated synonymously with PFPS. However, there is general consensus that PFPS is a term that applies only to individuals without cartilage damage, thereby distinguishing it from Chondromalacia patellae, a condition categorized by softening of the patella articular cartilage. Despite this academic distinction, the diagnosis of PFPS is typically made clinically based only on the history and physical examination rather than the results of any medical imaging. Therefore, it is unknown whether most persons with the diagnosis of PFPS has cartilage damage or not, making the difference between PFPS and chondromalacia theoretical rather than practical. It is thought that only some individuals with anterior knee pain will have true chondromalacia patellae. Signs and symptoms. The onset of the condition is usually gradual, although some cases may appear suddenly following trauma. Knee pain. The most common symptom is diffuse peripatellar pain, vague pain around the kneecap, and localized retropatellar pain, pain focused behind the kneecap. Uh, affected individuals typically have difficulty describing the location of the pain and may place their hands over the anterior patella or describe a circle around the patella. Pain is usually initiated when load is put on the knee extensor mechanism. Ascending or descending stairs or slopes, squatting, kneeling, cycling, running or prolonged sitting with flex bent knees. The causes is thought to be increased pressure on the patelliformal joint relating to how these increased pressures occur, increased levels of physical activity, malignant of the patella as it moves through femoral groove, quadriceps muscle imbalance, tight anatomical structures. The cause of pain and dysfunction often results from either abnormal forces, increased pull or of lateral quadriceps, retin coulomb with acute or chronic lateral PF subluxation dislocation, or prolonged repetitive compression or shearing forces, running or jumping on the PF joint. The result is thinning and softening, chondromalacia of the articular cartilage under the patella and or the medial or lateral femoral condyles, synovial irritation, inflammation of subchondral bony changes in a distal femur or patella known as bone bruises. The pain from prolonged sitting is through to occur because of the constant pull of the quadriceps muscle on the kneecap while sitting. Diagnosis, patellar tendinitis, patellar boostis, Pilka syndrome, sinning larsen johansson syndrome, and osgood Sclater's disease. Treatment as patelloformone pain syndrome is the most common cause of anterior knee pain in the outpatient. Medication, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are widely used to treat PFPS. However, there is only a very limited evidence that they are effective. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs may reduce pain in the short term, however, overall, however, after three months, pain is not improved. There is no evidence that one type of NSAID is superior to another. 
in PFPS. Therefore, some authors have recommended that NSAID with least side effects, which is cheapest, should be used. A 2011 systematic review stated that evidence supports the use of quadriceps exercises for managing patelloformal pain syndrome and the quadriceps strengthening is considered to be the gold standard treatment for patelloformal pain syndrome. Various exercises have been studied and recommended. Quadriceps strengthening is sometimes suggested because the quadricep muscles help to stabilize the patella. Quadricep weakness and quadricep muscle imbalance may contribute to abnormal patella tracking. If the strength of the vastus medialis muscle is inadequate, the usually larger and stronger vastus lateralis muscle will pull sideways on the kneecap, strengthening the vastus medialis to prevent or counter the lateral force of the vastus lateralis is one way of relieving PFPS. Moderate evidence supports the addition of hip abductor and external rotator strengthening as well as exercises targeting hip flexion and hip extension. When executing these exercises, proper form is very important in order to ensure that the musculature is activated in such a way that will not lead to further injury. Inflexibility has often been cited as a source of patellofemoral pain syndrome. Stretching of the lateral knee has been suggested to help. Furthermore, the use of a foam roller may help to add flexibility and relieve pain from sore or stiff muscles in the leg. Uh, magnetic resonance imaging rarely can give useful information for managing patellofemoral pain syndrome and treatment should focus on an appropriate rehabilitation program including correcting strength and flexibility concerns. Patellofemoral pain syndrome has also may also result from overuse or overload of PF joint. Those who engage in high impact activities such as running should consider non-impact activities such as swimming or aerobics on an elliptical machine. Ice and medication to reduce inflammation. Ice can be applied to the PF joint after an activity. Brace and taping. There's no, statist there's no statistically or clinically Significant difference in pain symptoms between taping and non-taping in individuals. Knee braces are ineffective in treating PFPS. The technique of McConnell taping involves pulling the patella medial, medially with tape. Findings from such studies suggest that there is limited benefit from patella taping or bracing when compared to quadricep exercises alone. Arc support. Surgery. Complementary and alternative medicine, acupuncture. Read all about patellofemoral pain syndrome. Patellofemoral pain syndrome. Patellofemoral pain syndrome.